Welcome home, Bitcoin Truth Seekers. It is Thursday, January 12th. It is 12.35 p.m. here in the Arizona desert. Once again, welcome home, Bitcoin Truth Seekers. Some good news today. Mars Retrograde has gone direct, although, I'm sorry, yeah, Mars Retrograde went direct today, or will go direct today soon, and that's kind of cool. If you felt a certain heaviness the last few weeks, maybe that's part of it. Um, Mercury is still retrograde until the 18th. If you're into astrology, these are all, all a big deal. <laughs> okay. So anyway, uh, expect some volatility in the market and the world today as Mars does turn direct. So enough existential stuff. <laughs> I don't want to lose everybody. This might work. It might not. Let's you might hear this. Or you might just see the animation. Radiant, Radiant Creators Project. All right. So here we go. We present here. Let's get things started. So, um, here we are. BitcoinDailyView.com always got more for you there. This has been an exciting, exciting day. I mean, I really do like seeing some good stuff happen. This is some good stuff. Now, if you were hardcore shorting, probably was not a good thing. But if you were hardcore shorting, you need to be less of a pessimist. Okay. So anyway, Finviz, checking that out today. In general, the indexes have been up. I think the market is still open. Yep. So the market's kind of cranked uh, down up 0.7, NASDAQ 0.57, S&P 500 up 0.46. Uh, I wouldn't surprise me if they had a slight, you know, turn down right before the market closes. That tends to be what happens. But I think we may very well close in the green today. Looking at the S&P 500, as we always do, in general, green. The huge sector that's winning today is the energy sector. Everyone else is just doing moderately okay. Uh, a loser day for Tesla, Amazon slightly up. Uh, Google and Apple just barely, no, Google on in negative slightly, well, a micro percent. Apple slightly in the positive, Microsoft in the positive. Interesting day. Um, ABBV, whoever they are, uh, healthcare, yeah, ABBV, ABV, ABBV, ABV Incorporated down 2.73%. Um, energy all up, looking beautiful. So in general, the S&P 500 just kind of holding on to being green, but uh, the energy sector is kind of pulling that sucker and uh, making it happen. Now the tech stocks are dumping too hardcore, not having like a 10% or 5% down am, uh, a Tesla day. Globalists are giving them a break. So it's a good day. Now, checking out Bitcoin trading volume, 15.5 billion today. That's insane. <laughs> that's incredible trading volume. So that's nice to see. That's 24 hours have been epic. As a matter of fact, uh, the volume change last 24 hours is up 282%. That's wild. Looking at uh, the trades today, um, of course, massive volume rolling in, um, seeing million dollar, two million dollar sells, million dollar, two million dollar buys. It's really, really wonderful. That's huge, huge volume. Definitely had this volume spike earlier, a couple hours ago, and I actually saw a uh, a two million dollar short get liquidated. Right, maybe I'll see it here. Lots of shorts get liquidated. Seeing more shorts liquidated liquidated today than um, longs. That's for sure. Yeah, right here. Two million dollars short, liquidated. That would suck. I can't even imagine. Like that. Did they even care? I mean, is it big money? Is it big enough money? How, how, that sucks. You know. Anyway, but if you'd won, if you had that, like what, ten x or hundred x, you know, leverage going, boom, uh, you'd be happy. So anyway, uh, looking at the big exchanges today, all the big exchanges up, some up 100%, some up 50, some up over 200%. All the big exchanges, in fact, in fact, I think every single of the top 60 exchanges are all in the green today. Binance up 134%. I like seeing that. Derivatives on Binance where the big money is, $64 billion. Now, this is a huge deal, okay? We haven't been above 20 or $30 billion. Uh, only say for the last couple of days we got above 20 billion, but we've been like hard to get above three or five. I mean, we, we've really had crappy derivative volume um, on Binance. Uh, I watch Binance for this measurement because Binance, they're, they're the big dogs, you know, they have the big volume. So, you know, longs with shorts with leverage, basically derivatives, boom, up 130, 133% last 24 hours at 64 billion. So, dig this on a good day when the market's really happening, when you're in kind of a bullish market or at least a neutral market. 50 billion would be a good day. 60 billion, a great day. 70 billion, extraordinary. 64 billion from not even like 10 billion in 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 a, a, a derivatives uh, volume. So anyway, guys, that's wonderful. You know, uh, that's just that's insane. The market literally has in the last like 24 hours 
it's changed. Now is where you get to see what people are made out of. People who are pessimistic will just say, it's got to go to 3K first. It's got to go. It's got to go. You know, then there's people who are like, dude, you know, good things happen. Um, you know, you, I do have a belief that you create your worldview. So if, you know, if you think Bitcoin's going to have to go, you know, dump, whatever, um, needs to go to 3K, 10, whatever, you know, if nothing good can happen, do a little bit of a life review and like what else is working for you in life? Probably nothing. So cheer up. Anyway, good things can happen. We have to remind ourselves sometimes that good things can happen. All right. Um, if I was teaching a class, I would I'd say everybody now with me, good things can happen. You know, um, uh, longs versus shorts for Bitcoin on Binance, 45% long, 54% shorts. Definitely a short bias starting on, on Bitcoin for Bitcoin on Binance, and that makes sense. Okay, we'll look at the chart in a second. For Ethereum, 42% long, 57% short. So short bias, Bitcoin and Ethereum on Binance. Looking at Bitcoin right now, coming in at 18,856. Did you think you would see that yesterday? Maybe, you know. Anyway, I won't go into all the alts. I mean, because in general, like uh, Aptos doing very well, APT looking great. I think ApeCoin was doing great. Um, Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum Classic no, was not doing too great. Um, Flow, whatever that is, is doing great. I mean, a lot of a lot of the top 100 alts are just doing great. So everybody's pumping. Bit, Bitcoin's pumping. I hope you're in something and you made money, or you uh, are on the sidelines waiting for the good retraces to come and then get in, or whether you're at the top waiting short. I hope you're in the game, you know, um, it's important, you know, get in the game. Sometimes it can be hard. Sometimes we can forget that good things happen. Green markets happen, you know, and, uh, you know, green markets matter. They do, you know, seriously. So good things happen. Um, sometimes on times, days like this and like yesterday also, you can kind of forget. You, you can get so used to being negative and so used to being bearish that you get pissed off when something good happens. Um, once again life review. So with that said, uh, Bitcoin versus USDT, 15 minute chart. I'm doing a fib here from when it started to a kind of pump back on a Wednesday, uh, the 11th, around 8.45 a.m. We had to start the pump. I think we've kind of hit, at least well, so far we've hit a top and this is a good thing. Um, now we got some accounts by Sam firing off. Wow, we might even keep going. I don't know what's going to happen. I myself am going to be honest with you. I sold when I saw some of this momentum hat was starting a while back and, uh, um, you know, I didn't get all of this. I kind of got maybe like I got, uh, I got about right here in the golden, golden pocket here when it, when it took off, I, I got in, um, and I kind of held tight right here. Um, anyway, I sold at 18,850, um, and I bought like, at, I don't know, like 17,900 or something like that or 17,600. Um, not too bad. Um, cause we got to make money. So the thing is, are we going to shorten or what? I don't know. I sold just because I just think we're, we've pushed a lot. And I'm looking at the 15 minute chart. If I look here, you know, honestly, I would say these indicators say we could almost keep going, but we've pushed pretty hard. Let's look at a 45 minute chart. You know, I love my 45 minute charts. Um, yeah, they, it's still honestly looking positive. Seeing a slight, you know, burn off on volume, volume starting to go down. So let's see, there's no reason like right now, when you get pumped like this, when you extend like this, it's hard to know what's going to happen. You know what I mean? Like, how do you really read this chart? You know, we're going to have to kind of see it by the top, retrace some to get an idea of what our range is looking like. You know, I kind of thought we were going to have a range maybe like in, in here, like 18,000 to 18,300. I was kind of looking at that. Like before I, I, early this morning, I was thinking, might we see a range, um, something like, like this, like right in here, you know, 18,000 to like 18,300 or 17,900, like 18,000 to 300. You know, that wouldn't surprise me if we got range bound sideways, but you know, we've really pumped hard. So let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. We just, you know, the only thing I can say is, you know, be positive, allow something good to happen. Um, because I don't think anybody knows exactly what's going to happen. And the people who do, honestly, who are saying like, this is what's going to happen. This is what's going to happen. I mean, like, you sound like you sound like like uh, you sound like Peter Schiff. Okay, I just gotta be honest with you. Stop it. We don't know what's gonna happen. Um, we were looking here where we had this um for a while. So this morning we did pump up, boom, and we hit this previous high like perfectly. 
And this previous high, um, which we've gone past, was uh, Wednesday the 14th of December 2022. Um, and so, you know, bam, we, we've broken above that. And so that's kind of interesting, you know, that, that that's an interesting sign. And if we look at it here, this is a four hour chart, you know, I know, you know, not a, uh, not a, a, a huge amount of time that we're looking at, but you know, you could almost kind of see an upwards trend here. You know, what if that's the top, you know, boom, Hey, something good can happen. Okay. I'm um, go with, go with, you know, be creative. Um, maybe we're going to see an uptrend here. It's hard to tell. You never really know. So Right now, Bitcoin's pumping. We'll see what happens. What would really excite me, to be very honest with you, is if we were to, um, even if we do retrace from here, which is, you know, it's pretty, it, it's fairly likely we're going to retrace some, um, or maybe not. You never know. Anybody who thinks that Bitcoin couldn't be twenty thousand dollars today, you, you, you just, you just gotten started in all this, and it's okay. I'm telling you, it could. You know. Nothing else it could wick to it and it could crank right past that. We just don't know. But what would kind of excite me is if this happened, this uh, previous high that we had, that we, we, we've broken past, if we kind of kept going and then came back, found that a support and then started moving up, woo! Now that, in my opinion, would be very, very bullish. So I'm, I'm kind of watching for that. That's kind of a little bit of an expectation I've got going on. And uh, with that said, um, there you go. We'll just, we'll just leave it at that. That's our, our short-term time frames there looking at uh, looking at Bitcoin. Um, and now one last thing here. Let's look at, boom, let's go here. Okay, everything disappeared on me. Let me see if I can get that back. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Yeah, I'll, I'll, just, I'll, just, I'll just do this again. Um, something that's very, very exciting that I really like seeing. Let me clean this up. Bam. Is this. Okay, if we do a FIB sequence, let's go way back here to March of 2020. The subsequence, this here is the big news of the week. Let me try to get this exact. Um, big news of the week so far, I think, honestly, is we are positive MACD on the three-day, positive MACD on the daily, and um, we just got back above the set dot, set, uh, 0 .0 0 0.786 FIB level. So we're kind of back in the game. This FIB sequence that I've been using here is since March of 2020. We visited our 3K, you know, lows, then our, our, our high, you know, like mega 65K. Um, this fifth sequence is really stuck. It's got a lot of sticky points. It does seem to work. We've been below the uh, 786 fib for a while. That's been rather painful, you know. Um, we've we, we, we've challenged it a time. We, well, we kind of got below it, came back, challenged it, tried to challenge it, then challenged it, got above, went back down. Now we really have challenged it pretty powerfully. That's a beautiful sign. So really, if we can stay above that like 17,800 level, that's really, really hot. That's really, really wild. And also at the same time, if we can stay above this previous high that we had back here, that we kind of blew away. Uh, if we, if we where, Where's that at actually? Where's that? What's the price action on that? That is at, a, oh gosh, that's like 18,000. So yeah, we're, we're set. Like, let's just try to stay above this previous uh, spike that we had here of like, where's my thing? like 18,400, let's say. Let's hope we might. So let's see what happens. You know, we got to see. We'll, we'll give it some time, see what happens. But I'm very excited. This is a nice thing. Also, do note this. I mean, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be happy even seeing above this, this dot 76, uh, 786 FIB level, which here is around 17,754 or 17,800 or so like that, you know, around there. If we're going to stay above that. That's going to be awesome. But check this out. This is, this is, this is a big deal. Is white moving average here on the daily? What is that? That's the 200 moving average. Um, we're already above the 50. We cross that 200. It is so game on. And that 200, that 200 moving average, is only at around 19,500. Man, we could hit that. I mean, you know, a whale could fart that by. Oh, wrong button, you know. And uh, bam, we'd be above that. And uh, once we wick above that thing, once that thing, you know, is not resistance, that becomes, we bounce above it, that becomes support. And that daily MACD begins to, I'm sorry, that daily uh, 200 moving average begins to trend upwards. Oh, man, that's it. That's going to be a beautiful time. You know, who gives a crap what the world's doing? Bitcoin's going to be ravishing. All right. Enough about Bitcoin. You know, you, you all know the drill. Um, there's so many alts that are doing well. I just don't even want to look at them all. Um, there's just honestly a bit too many. A lot of alts are doing really, really well. Okay. Um, but uh, one that I do like here, I know it's, it's SHIB. I'm just going to point it out because I know I have SHIB. 
it's a beautiful uptrend going on about the tenant moving average. It's, it's nice. You could kind of see a bit of a challenge you could make here at this point. The nice thing is uh, it's pumping with Bitcoin, not dumping uh, as Bitcoin pumps. I kind of like that. You can kind of do this. That's a bit, that's a bit, ah, let's put it right there. I know I should include that, but I'm just going to say this looks more reasonable to me. Nice upwards channel. I like it. You know, it's pretty much following Bitcoin's path. And this is wonderful. You know, basically on the last, um, since uh, what, Friday, Jan, yeah, since Friday the 6th, a little while ago, if we look at Shiba Inu, um, do, 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 do. it's right now sitting at like, yeah, you know, in six days, it's up 16.16%. So that's really awesome. And this is kind of the story of a lot of vaults. As a matter of fact, SHIB is not really performing that hot compared to what a lot are actually doing. Um, I still didn't make this too long, so I'm not going to go into all that. But uh, there's just too many doing too well right now to even start to get into. Uh, you know, uh, is there any point to looking at? Let's look at... Uh, do, 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 do. my high end list let's look at that anything particularly interesting yeah uh ruin usdt i mean this thing's doing great look at that boom beautiful upwards channel moving great strong bounce of the 200 moving average 45 minute chart looking great gosh these indicators it might even just keep going bit extended not a bad thing to to kind of watch if you could catch that retrace which will probably come you know um gosh wouldn't surprise this guy might even find support on top of this channel and keep going. Ruin versus USDT. That's uh, on uh, Binance and uh, KuCoin. Pond. Doing friggin' awesome. Doing awesome. You know, Ren. Ah, you know what? Here's a, here's a little insider secret. W's. W's tend to equal win. Watch this thing continue. Good indicators. This is one to watch. Ren versus USDT. Kava. USDT. Mm, you know, that's kind of a bull flag if you ask me. Uh, watch this one. Uh, Lunsi, everyone loves C, Lunsi. It ran up hard a while ago. It's retraced some. So we kind of have a range here. We, oops, sorry about that. We kind of have a, uh, a range here that we can mess with. One sec. Let's play with that for just a second. Yeah, it came out of the 618 pocket, made a bounce. 618 pocket again, and tenant moving average made a bounce, moving up. Has to get above that 382. Um, indicators in general are looking good. Gosh, you know, um, LUNC versus USDT, whew, not a bad, not not looking too bad. None of these are, you know, um, recommendations and intended purposes only. Um, I'm not quite ready at this moment to like, uh, with the current volatility, my, my kind of trade I'm doing right now is, is waiting for some retraces. I already kind of got in and got out waiting for the retrace um, or maybe maybe I'll short, but probably just wait for the retrace, to be honest with you. Anyway, could be a bull flag right here. I like that. Mana versus USDT. So many all is doing so darn well. This really has been great for the market, this recent pump. And uh, there's so many. I would, I'd be stuck here all day and so would you. So here's the deal. Um, this is some news. And I actually gleaned this from Jonathan Regan over at Blockchain Education. He was, he was going over some of this stuff recently in a webinar. Um, so I got to kind of, you know, source it where it should be sourced. Um, here's the deal. Uh, Bitcoin, the case for is big money buying Bitcoin. Micro strategies, Bitcoin. Yeah, micro strategies, Bitcoin strategy sets tongues wagging in fingers, um, even as it doubles down on BTC purchases. So this is from like January 8th. Um, micro strategy bought more Bitcoin. I'm telling you, I'm not telling you. I mean, you can you can think whatever you want, but I'm just saying that I think the big money knows quite often things that we don't, and uh, and sometimes it doesn't. Like that two million dollar wreck that we saw back there, that short, you know, that got blown out of the water. They didn't. They had money, but they didn't know something. Um, well, I think Mike or S Michael Saylor and this crew, I think they know something. Things that we may not know, uh, or maybe they're just you know watching the charts. Bitcoin is up a couple percent last couple of days, and uh, you know it's given a lot back. So have we found bottom? I'm telling you what, I believe that micro strategy things that we have. That's the big money. I think they got insider info that we don't have. It's just bullish to me. That's why I think big money is getting back into it. Also, right here, um, I've seen this mentioned a couple of places. Uh, last place I heard it was over at, um, I've actually heard this over at Trade Genius. They've mentioned it in the, in, in the crypto chat. Uh, Blockchain Education has mentioned it. 
Um, people, the people in those chats have mentioned it, but over here on the Bitcoinist, uh, uh, Bitcoin miners have stopped selling. They're hodling a bit. Um, and that's a big deal too. In general, they got to cover their costs, you know, and I'm, I'm a miner, but a very small time crypto miner. Pretty much if, if, if the chart's sideways and I have no confidence of it going up or if it's turning down whatsoever, I'm just selling it as I mine it. Literally, ding, 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 ding. But if I can hodl even for a day or a week and make more money and I can uh, and I can't afford that because my operation is pretty small, then I'm doing it. And so for Bitcoin miners, you got to realize for them to hodl, um, you know, they're oftentimes, you know, burning credit, you know, to actually do that hodl. So, I mean, it's a big deal. And if there's an uptick in their hodl, um, that's bullish. If you don't think so, life review. See a therapist. Just saying. I, I care about you, and I don't want you to be negative the rest of your life. Um, I love the smell of wrecked shorts. Smells like victory. Sorry if you got wrecked, but the world's a better place. Okay, so here's the deal. I like to do a little, a little PSA, a little feel good. And uh, Keanu Reeves... You know, Neo, uh, many people that I know have met him say he's a very personable, nice character. And, uh, you know, just because you're a celebrity and you're Neo doesn't mean that you're, you're not a nice person. And so anyway, I thought I'd just read this real quick because it's kind of a feel good. And we all need those these days. Once Keanu Reeves left a post on his Facebook page addressing all his followers and fans, the message spread online at great speed. The quote is from him. Can you see the people behind me, everybody running to work, not paying attention to anything? Sometimes we get so absorbed in our daily routine that we forget to pause for a moment to enjoy the beauty of life. We are turning into real life zombies. Lift your eyes, look directly in front of you and remove your earphones. Say hello to someone passing by or hug someone who feels unwell. Lend a helping hand to someone. Live every day as if it were your last. Not many people know that I suffered from severe depression several years ago. This is Tokiona. <laughs> I have never told anyone this. I had to find a way to get past her, and I realized the bitter truth. The person who did not let me be happy was myself. Mm, big stuff. And if you think Bitcoin's going to zero, that's you. Get out of your own way. Live. <laughs> be positive. <laughs> Every day we live is priceless. So let's live by it. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. So let's start living today. Really, please, every day experience life if you can. Whatever that experience is, whether it's like a frozen pizza from Fitter Joe or trading the green or whatever it might be, just being aware of your presence, you know, and meditating. But really, every day that you experience life, that you have the absolute experience of life, even for a moment, it's very, very sweet. It doesn't have to be some grand thing where you're jumping up and down like a game show. In fact, that's not really it. When you experience life every day, you know, when you know that whole saying of be still and know that I am God, have that for one moment in yourself or in your action, whatever it is, you win. Whatever happens tomorrow, F it, doesn't matter. You won today. That's the best any of us can do. And that's really winning at life. So anyway, BitcoinDailyView.com. Got more for you there. Once again, welcome home, Bitcoin Truth Seekers. This might be a glorious weekend. Let's see what happens. Most likely volume will go down, you know. Um, let's see what happens. Anyway, with that said, I'll try to get on here every day and let's try, I'll try to take a little bit more time before I, I come on and I'll try to maybe get, maybe suggest some, some good setups um, uh, as I see them. And anyway, guys, um, thank you for being a Bitcoin truth seeker. For every Bitcoin's Toshi you own, you make a piece of shit globalist cry. And that's a damn good reason to get up in the morning. Gets me up and uh, take care.